Jack here, and I've got with me the Comfuria Safety Gate. I'm gonna be unboxing this and setting it up here in the doorway using the pressure mounted method. This is a really cool safety gate for your pets or your children if you wanna keep them out of a certain area in your house. Now, like I said, you can install this using the pressure mounted method, which means no tools, no damaging your wood or marking up anything. So we're gonna get this unboxed, full disclosure. I was sent this for free for this video, but as always, that won't change anything that I say. All right, so once you've sliced open the box, you'll be able to pull the gate from the top here. Go ahead and slide this out. You can discard the black pieces. Those are just for packaging. And here is the gate. There's a few more zip ties to remove, foam and other packing materials. So go ahead and do that first. Now, real quick, do make sure that you're very careful and you read this tag with this zip tie. You cannot cut this zip tie until the gate is completely set up. If you cut it beforehand, it's going to be very difficult to set this gate up. So do double check and make sure that you leave this attached until you're finished setting up. I'll tell you later on when you're safe to cut it. When you open up the gate, you get a few different parts and pieces. This is the gate itself with the swing door. We're gonna set this aside. These are the sides of the gate. So these come apart. And basically what you use these for is to get the right width relative to your door. So these will go on either side of the gate to make it the right width to get this all fitting right. So we'll go over how to set this up for my size door. We're gonna set that to the side for now. And then we also have the instruction manual, which will be really helpful for the setup and all of your hardware. So this will give you the option to install via the pressure mount setup, as well as the screw on setup if you do wanna permanently screw it to your doorway, but we're just gonna use the pressure mounted screw system. So I just measured and the doorway here is about 36 inches. So the manual for 36 inch doorway recommends using two of these smaller spacers on one side of the gate. So for me, I won't be using this piece. We'll store that in case we need to use this on a different size doorway later. But you do wanna make sure you check the manual to determine what size spacers you're gonna use. So to set that up, we're just gonna slot these onto the side opposite of the door latch. And this is how it's gonna end up looking on our doorway. So latch is here for us to walk through this way. And then step two is gonna to be to attach our bolts, which we'll do now. So once you've determined the size spacer you're gonna use with your gate, the next step is to take your four pressure bolts and mount them like so. We're just gonna slide them in to all four corners. So I'm not gonna be using the drill mounted method. I'm gonna be using the sticky pad mounted method. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take our four sticky pads and our four cups. Now these you would use either way, but you would screw through them if you were doing the screw mounted method. For the non-screw mounted method, we're gonna use the cups and the stickies like this, and we're gonna stick these on the door where we want them. So we're gonna set that up now. With the sticky pads prepped on these cups, we're just gonna go ahead and place them on the gate. And we'll go ahead and put one on each corner. Same thing here and down here. Now, once you get all four pads lined up just about where you want them, the manual recommends tracing it with a pencil just so you can mark it and then go back and remove the sticky piece to then stick those cups back against the wall so that the gate will slot nicely into there and you can fully tighten it all down. So that's what I'm gonna do now. All right, the stickies have been removed and I tightened it down on that side. I just got to do the bottoms as well. And I did the left side already, but this is stuck to the wall. This is tensioned into this cup and this should be about good to go. All right, and once all of the cups are in place and stuck to the wall, you're gonna tighten them down. There is an included tool that helps with that. This is the tool right here, and I'm gonna show you how to use the tool. You're basically just gonna come over here and there's slots in here. You can slot it in and crank it as such a little bit easier than just using your hands. But once you feel like you've got it nice and tight, you're gonna go ahead and cut that last piece there and the gate should be good to test. And there you have it. The gate is installed and appears to be working. Real quick, I'm just gonna show you how the mechanism works to open the gate. You're gonna pull the thumb slider towards this way and then lift up and swing out either way. It will go that way or this way. So we'll just pull back, lift up. And you can see it swings open. If it goes all the way up to here, it will lock. If it's just up to here, it will auto close which is a really nice feature. All in all, very happy with this gate. Install, I would say, is pretty easy. I would say most people could do it fairly easily on their own or with the help of a friend. But all things considered, if you're looking at a gate for your pet or for your baby, 
I think this Comfuria safety gate is a great option. I hope this helps your purchase decision. Thanks for watching.